in this chapter, we are going to be setting up our development environment, and then we are going to use it to create a hologram that we can then see on the HoloLens in the real world. Let's get started. Locate the Unity cube. It's a little white cube on your desktop, and click it to launch Unity. Now, we're going to be opening a pre-existing project today, and that's because it already has all of the 3D models, materials, sound files that we are going to need to complete our project. So go ahead and find the little Open button, and then navigate to the Desktop folder. And from there, find a folder called Shared Holograms. Go ahead and click that folder to open it. And then go down to your bottom of your File Explorer window and say Select Folder. On this little dialog, go ahead and press Continue. We are using a beta version of Unity today. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to set up our scene for holographic development is delete the main camera. So in the left panel in the hierarchy, go ahead and find the main camera object, right-click on that object, and select Delete. Now, we are going to replace this with an, a main camera from the Holo Toolkit. So go on down to the Holo Toolkit folder, expand that, and find the Prefabs folder. Unity, a prefab, is a reusable object. Now, find the Camera folder, open that, and now you have finally found our main camera object. Go ahead and drag and drop that into the open space of the hierarchy. That will add a new main camera to the scene. As that is selected, go ahead and look at the inspector panel in the far right. And I just want to call attention to a few things that we changed to Unity's main default camera. The first is the position of our camera. We've changed the position to be 0, 0, 0, which is the center of the world. Under the camera section, you will find a clear flags property. By default, Unity actually has this set to Skybox, and that's because in a lot of 3D game development, the game world is trapped in an artificial box with a horizon in the background. However, we are creating a mixed world experience. We do not need an artificial box. We have the real world. So we changed this to solid color, and then we set that color to black, because in HoloLens, black will be transparent. Let's create an empty object that will contain our holograms. To do so, make sure that you click away from the main camera in the hierarchy. And then you can right click and select Create Empty. There's also that tiny little Create drop down right under the hierarchy panel, if you want to use that instead. That should create an empty game object in your scene. You'll want to right click on that object and select Rename. And then let's name that object Hologram Collection. Now, spelling and casing matter in a lot of cases today. This isn't one, but try to get in the habit of checking, double checking what you're typing. With Hologram Collection selected, go ahead and look at its inspector panel in the far right. And the only component on it right now is the transform. But let's look at its position. So by default, its position is set to 0, 0, 0. Now, holograms make really great hats. They are super hard to see when they're on top of your head. So we need to push our holograms out into the world. And we do this by changing our position. In Unity, x is left and right. So we are going to keep x at 0. And this will be center in our vision. Now, let's change y to negative 0.25. Y is up and down. So basically, this will put our hologram about a quarter of a meter down in our vision. All right, finally, Z. Z is forwards and backwards. Let's push this out two meters. So put positive two in that value. Now what I, will happen is our hologram will appear two meters in front of us and about a quarter of a meter down when we first deploy the device. We have an empty parent object who is in desperate need of children. So let's go find some little holograms for it. 
in the hologram folder in the bottom in the project panel, lower left, you'll find a holograms folder. Go ahead and open it. And in there is a little blue cube called Energy Hub. I want you to drag and drop this object onto the hologram collection. Make sure that a blue oval appears around the collection before you drop it. Now, if you did it correctly, then Energy Hub will appear indented under hologram collection. If you did not do it correctly, don't worry. It's not your fault. <laughs> Just delete Energy Hub and then redrag and drop it. You don't want to try to pull it and move it around because that actually messes up its transform. So you'll want to delete it and then re-add it again. So go ahead and select that Energy Hub if it's not currently selected. And then go over in the inspector panel. Now, for this object, I want to call out one of the components, and that is our audio source. And then I want you to look at that little checkbox called Spatialize. So what this means is that our hologram is already, go already going to have spatial sound enabled on it. So when you first see the hologram in the world, or maybe if you can't see the hologram, I want you to listen for sound and you'll be able to find your hologram based on sound. Also, you'll want to walk away from your hologram, across the room, towards it, all around it, to see how the sound changes, because it's really, really pretty cool. All right, so we've made some progress. Let's save that progress. Go to the File menu in the upper left of Unity, and select Save Scene As. We are going to name our scene Sharing, because we will be sharing today, eventually. <laughs> All right, and then go ahead and press the Save button. Now, you'll know if you saved correctly if sharing.unity appears at the top in the title bar of Unity. OK, so we are ready to preview our app. In Unity, just go ahead and press that little play button at the top. It's above the scene panel in the center. Press that to enter preview mode. Ooh, little hologram pops up and animates. It's so cute. Now, if we had sound, you would also hear sound coming from your system. Go ahead and press that play button again to exit preview mode. So this is a three-step process. The first thing you, we will need to do is build and export our project from Unity. This will generate a Visual Studio solution, which we will then load into Visual Studio. And then we will build and deploy from Visual Studio to the HoloLens. So let's get started with that. Find the File menu again, and then select Build Settings. The scenes and builds should be empty. But let's go ahead and press the Add Open Scenes button. This will add sharing to our project. Now, under the Platform section, select Windows Store, and then press the Switch Platform button. Double check that the little white Unity icon now appears next to Windows Store, so you know it is selected. On SDK, change this to Universal 10. We are a Universal Windows app. And then UWP Build Type, change this to D3D as we do use DirectX. And finally, let's check Unity C Sharp projects. Just check it. This will give us IntelliSense in our project. Now, go ahead and press the Build button. And we need to create a new folder. Let's name that folder app, APP. And then you can go ahead and select that folder and press Select Folder. So at this time, Unity will begin building and exporting this project. Now, this project is fairly large, so its very first build can take some time. Go ahead, and when your File Explorer window appears, just uh, click into the App folder. And in that folder, you will find something called Shared Holograms, which is our Visual Studio solution. Go ahead and click that to open. You will get a little version selector, which you can say OK on. 
And then Visual Studio will take a little bit of time to load. Not quite as much time as Unity, though. You'll know if VS is ready when those dropdowns become interactable. So let's go to the debug dropdown. And we are going to change this to release. Now, the one that says ARM, let's change it to x86. Finally, let's, there's a tiny little black arrow next to local machine. Select that drop down and select remote machine. Now, we, for the majority of our deploys are going to be wireless today. So you need to enter in the IP address of your HoloLens. And you're going to want to keep authentication mode set to universal. And then you can go ahead and press the Select button to save these changes. All right, so now we are ready to go to the Debug menu. And you can press Start Without Debugging. And once deployment is complete, you can unplug your HoloLens, fit it to your head, and find your hologram in the world.